GPT-5 is smarter than us in almost every way. I thought that that isn't that AGI. And, and if not, has the term become somewhat meaningless? These models are clearly extremely smart on a sort of raw horsepower basis. You know, there's all this stuff on the last couple of days about GPT-5.2 as an IQ of 147 or 144 or 151 or whatever it is. It's like, you know, depending on whose test, it's like it's some high number. And you have like a lot of experts in their field saying it can do these amazing things and it's like contributing. It's making it more effective. You have the GDP, all things we talked about. One thing you don't have is the ability for the model to not be able to do something today, realize it can't, go off and figure out how to learn to get good at that thing, learn to understand it. And when you come back the next day, it gets it right. And that kind of continuous learning, toddlers can do it. It does seem to me like an important part of what we need to build. Now, can you have something that most people would consider an AGI without that? Clear, I mean, there's a lot of people that would say we're at AGI with our current models. I think almost everyone would agree that if we were at the current level of intelligence and had that other thing, it would clearly be very AGI-like. But maybe most of the world will say, okay, fine, even without that, like it's doing most knowledge tasks that matter, smarter than us and mo most of us in most ways, we're at AGI. You know, it's discovering small pieces of new science, we're at AGI. What I think this means is that the term, although it's been very hard for all of us to stop using, is very underdefined.